Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I am working in our backyard today. I'm gonna to create a pallet walkway using uh, pallet boards and gravel. So we have a spot where we dump small yard waste and because there's a lot of foot traffic over to the space, it gets a little muddy. So I wanted to create a pathway um, so it wouldn't be so muddy, but I wanted it to be a little more appealing to the eye, something a little more creative. So I'm going to use the boards from this palette and some gravel that we have to create this pathway. So I'm going to start off with cutting the boards away from this palette using a sawzall. So as you can see, just kind of going in between the board and slicing through the nails on the palette. It was easier to do it this way than to try to use a crowbar just to pry the boards off of the palette. So the Sawzall was able to slice through the nails a little easier. And as you can see, the palette started to move on me, so I had to call over my husband, AKA Mr. Supervisor, to help me out with holding the palette still um, for safety reasons, of course, so it wouldn't walk on me. And so I'm just going to take those boards off of the palette so we can begin creating. So I'm not going to show me taking every board off of this palette. I just wanted to show the process on how I did deconstruct this palette so that I can create the pathway. So here we go. I've laid the palette boards out. What I did was I laid them out side by side, close together. Then I removed every other palette board to create the spacing in between. So I created a gentle curve and down the hill, there's going to be a curve back around to the right. But right now I'm just trying to make sure this is the way I want it. And it's more of a gentle slope and not necessarily a hill. All right, since everything looks okay, I'm gonna get my drill and I'm gonna drill a hole in the end of each board so that I could drive my landscaping anchors into the boards and secure them to the ground. And I am aware that this is not ground contact wood. This is more of a temporary fix or just a path to last as long as it can. It's not supposed to last forever. I'm just a, a different creative idea. So I do know that they're not gonna last forever. So here are the landscaping anchors that I'm gonna use. They are eight inch spikes. I'm going to drive those in the holes um, to secure the boards down. Okay, so here are the spikes all set up and ready to be driven into the ground. I just wanted to make sure that they're in the right place before I um, secure them all the way in the ground. And I'm also gonna add um, more boards turned on the side on the right side of this path, and you'll see that in just a moment. So here we go, I just added the boards as well and just secure those in. And this is the decorative stone or all-purpose stone that I used to fill in between the boards. For the boards that I turned on the side, I just did the same method, I drilled a hole all the way through. Then I just drove those same um, landscaping anchors into the board to secure that to the ground. These were the long pieces from the palette, so it's from the same palette, 
I just use that as another border on the right side of this path. And as you'll notice, I didn't come all the way up to the beginning of the path with the boards on the side because there will be a fence that cuts across the very beginning of this path. And I didn't want that to impede the gate opening up. So I left those boards back a little bit at the beginning of the path. I also plan to add some greenery, like some grasses and some ferns along both sides of this pathway to kind of soften it up a little bit. So this is it. This is the beginning of our garden pathway in our backyard. Any questions, of course, leave them below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.